How's it going, everybody? I wanted to go over uh, another video. Um, by the way, that's my rock tumbler that's making the noise. This one's going to be over cords, not rope, radios, and tools. The um, cords are something that are a lot of people have the different ideas of what they want. I like to go over things that somebody might not have heard of with the tools, with the radio options that are out there that uh, that are unusual or, or maybe above average. I always try to get things that are better than what the kits that are pre-made have. Excuse me. Um, some One thing that I do want to point out is that in your bug out bag, your inch bag, or just get back home bag, this is the time where you don't want to be stingy. You don't want to go cheap. You want to get the biggest, best name brand that you can. And so you'll see I'll point out a lot of things about that throughout all my videos. And I want to remind everybody I am a copycat. Everything that I have, everything that I've come up with was at one point somebody else's idea. Um, there's a couple things that might be my idea, but when I watch other videos or, or watch other or read other uh, magazines or internet I take little pieces of somebody else's and create my own thing and over the years I have uh, created stuff that I think people would be really interested in and I've finally been told I should start to videotape on this now these are just cords, radios and tools uh, first thing I want to go over is of course the um, favorite the 550 cord if you can get yourself a mesh bag they make these mesh bags where when you store your uh, cord it won't get all untangled inside your bag you can always stuff it in there if they're lightweight and the neat thing about these is that they don't contain or they won't hold in any moisture so your cords ropes and stuff won't rot uh, they're, they're like uh, swimming gear mesh bags or they're also known as like white water rafting type uh, gear bags um, mesh bags really work they're light and um, something to get if you can the 550 cord is like I said everybody's favorite but um, it really won't hold your weight like you'd hope uh, the other thing is that I hear people say well you could just cut it and pull the the fucking threads out and then make a, a sewing kit out of them. Well, I'll go over a sewing kit here later. You, I don't know why you'd want to do that when they make thread and needles that you can hold into a little thing and don't have to mess with this. This also is a middle size. It's kind of awkward. It's middle size if anybody's actually used it. There's smaller stuff out here like the nylon cord for actually lashing stuff down. And you can carry a lot more length of it. Um, or if you got your big heavy rope, it's kind of an awkward size. It's right in that mid middle size where you can't really pick your dog out of a canyon with it and you can't support your weight with it, but you're using up really good stuff just to tie a stake down. But we all love it. Um, they got the mini paracord. Everybody's kind of fond of that. This that other nylon cord I was talking about is like called a five sixteenths cord. Uh, you can get a lot at five hundred feet of it, and it goes on a little spool. It's pretty handy to have. I carry some of it. I do want to go over the how important shoelaces are. They turned out that I've used shoelaces, and they're just as strong as your uh, five fifty cord. Uh, if you have any old boot laces, anything like that, grab a handful of those, put them in a bag, and, and you'll, you won't go wrong with those. Nylon cord, they're a little bit bigger. Uh, you can get a better grip on them, but uh, they're not as strong as the 550 cord. And that's something that we've got to keep in mind. I wanted to go over these, that there are a lot of different kind of options, but the best thing i found is this. It's called Mule Tape. M-U-L-E Tape. Don't know why it's called that. And I don't know why it's thin it's, or it's flat. And I don't know why it's as strong as it is, but it's goddamn strong. This stuff will, will not just hold your weight. It'll hold you and your dog's weight over a canyon. You tie it up to your truck, 
tied up to somebody else's car and tow their car back with this stuff. It's hyper strong. The stuff you can find on eBay, 50 foot core uh, links, 100 foot links when it's new. Um, MULE tape. This is what I have found to be the most practical, best cord there is. Um, I can't say enough about it. It's lightweight and you can just put a 50 foot hunk in your bag and you can rely on this. You can, you can, you can, you can bet your life on it. Now I want to go over radios. I put everything in plastic bags. Um, I have a little radio that has an earphone. It's really nice. It's a little radio. Doesn't take up much space, but if anybody's ever had an earphone in, you can't really hear an approaching animal or person or or call for help or anything like that. Um, I always try to have sound where I can hear it from a speaker coming to me. That way I can hear from either side. If you've ever been out in the desert at night, you just turn your volume up just a hair and it sounds like you're blaring it. These are neat. They have the solar. They have the, the, the flashlight. The crank. But they're made in China. And once one little part goes, they're broken. You can't repair them. Um, and when they get wet, they get damaged. This one's been damaged. They're big. This is one of the smaller ones you can get, and it's still kind of big. Well, I've done some looking around, and I have found something better. It is this right here. It's called a transistor radio. It's old world technology. You can still find these on eBay. They're really expensive, but they have like if you open this back, it takes a one AA battery, but you can actually see like the transistors and stuff coming out of it. The little you can actually repair this thing. You turn it on. What do you think teaches that? Um, or this just the style here. It picks up shortwave and longwave radio. If an EMP goes off, it's old technology. It won't be affected. Everything else will be affected. This will not. Uh, you can pick up somebody talking over a radio saying, I'm in a cabin, I got food and whatever else, and, and warm sheets, whatever. Whatever your fantasy is, this will pick it up. They're small. They're durable. It's made in, this one was made in China. It's back when everybody made good stuff. You can actually use a uh, paper clip and repair the thing with it. We make close the circuits. I've found that this is the best thing you can get. It's called a transistor radio. If you can get your hands on one, they're hard to find. They're expensive, but after I got this, all my other radios went to, went to the back burner. Pardon me. Downside is it is a one AA battery. Um, a lot of things I have take a one AA battery. I try AA as opposed to AAA. Just my own personal preference. You want to use the most common battery there is. The one two three battery is better, but you can't find it in some podunk town. But you can't find a double A. Some double A batteries, little cases. I like to put them in cases and still wrap them with bags. You don't want them to get wet. Solution to that is there is a solar charger. The solar charger you can find on eBay, or, or pardon me, Amazon. When it opens up, it has two solar panels. You can charge your phone with it. On the back, you open it up. You can put AA, AAA batteries inside it. You store them in there. Close this up. When you're fishing, you open it up and you're charging your batteries. Um, really nice to have. I don't know the name brand offhand, but I will zoom in right here so you can see. It is a. Oh, it's not zooming in very good. Whatever, I'll read it off. XTG SLRBC. Uh, something to keep in mind. Trying as hard as I can to not make these videos long. This is a sunglasses case you can buy on eBay. They're like a dollar a piece. They take like two months to come in. They're from China. One thing I want to go over is what's inside this. 
try to get everything kind of pre-made or pre-ready to pull this apart. Uh, inside just this one bag, I have my Hoppies gun alone. What good is your gun if you can't keep it clean? Everybody knows that. Um, this is an idea that a lot of people might not know of. I've painted a lot of this stuff, but this is a Klein folding screwdriver. It opens like this. Locks into place. Interchangeable bits. Klein makes them. There's different styles. This one was originally black, but of course I painted it. I don't like black things. I like having things of color. So you can actually see it when it's on the ground. Alright, now, this I want to go over. There's a lot of sharpeners out there you can buy. This one's got a, a sexy fish hook sharpener. This one's got, ooh, it's got a, a stinger kind of sharpener. These are all great. I found something better. I saw a video on this guy who made the, or came up with this idea. I can't remember his name, but it's not my idea. It's a pencil sharpener, knife sharpener. Um, what you can do is once you have it, you put a stick inside there. And you can sharpen the stick. Now you got something you can stick with fish, do whatever. You got a sharpened stick. The other part about it is that all the shavings that come off are going to be these little teeny pieces of wood, and that acts as your tinder. So if you can get yourself a sharpener, pencil, knife sharpener is the way to go. I can't say enough about it. Of course, a file, like I say, you don't want to go cheap. This is what sharpens my axe more than anything. They make this sunblock mosquito or bug repellent in one. You ever get mosquitoes around you? They suck, and if you don't have any uh, mosquito repellent, you're going to hate it. But this has uh, sunblock as well. Uh, Gloop it on. You're going to be really happy you had it. Uh, last thing is they make these little teeny things of WD-40. Um, parts and pieces are going to get rusted, are going to get hard to work with. There's no reason why you can't have this little teeny thing of WD-40. It's a little pain. You glob it, glob it, glob it on and uh, you'll be really happy you had it. All that was in just, just one little bag. Also was this. I want to go over this really quick. This is a coin. For coin collectors, it's a little case. It's for nickels. You screw off the top. And you can put all this stuff inside there. It's got little chunks of stuff on there because I got it too tight. This is an orange crayon I bought at a craft store. You get over to a rock, you want to tell somebody you went a different direction, something like that, you want to leave a message. Orange is a color that stands out. People like to carry pens or pencils with them. I like to carry a pencil. I think a pen is useless. Some people like them. Buy them. I got a Fisher Space pen. It's fucking awesome. Well, no, it's not. This is called a solid uh, carbon... Um, pardon me, uh, solid graphite pencil. I cut it in half, sharp at both ends. The whole thing is graphite will write on everything and it'll last forever. This is another little screwdriver. It's an eyeglasses screwdriver. Phillips and a flathead on one side, on each side. Of course, these. This is another little vial you can buy. I had to cut it in half. It's got my needles in it. Now, I'm going over this. My needles that I keep with me, they're the big eyes uh, where you put the thread through. Your hands might be shaking from pain or cold. You don't want to have to thread something that's a little teeny, little teeny hole. They make these really big eyed needles. Go with it. You can actually fit the thread through there. Uh, they make these pre made um, thread bobbins. Bit like this, different colors, but I have found that you can buy these ones. These are called metal bobbins for like a hand sewing kit on eBay. And you've got these little holes. I'm going to sneeze, dang it. This is waxed braided cord. It's used for leather work. It's bigger than regular thread, stronger. That way you don't have to make as many. I don't know, passes 
when you're using small stuff. You get this really strong braided cord and then you take this and you can feed it through the hole, tie it into a knot and then turn this and fill this whole bobbin up with really good cord. Once you do that, you get your plastic case. It fits inside there. Make sure it fit right. Put your needles in there. You're on your way to a really good case. A really, really good little kit. Ideas only. If somebody has something better, I'd love to hear it because I don't have the best ideas. I know that. These are just for somebody else out there that hadn't thought of it. They also make these plastic ones. These plastic ones open up. You can fit thread in there, whatever you want, cord, and then it collapses upon itself and it keeps it nice and tight. I can't remember the name of these. If you have a question, ask me and I'll reply to it. I'll find it. And of course, glue. They also have different styles of cases. You don't have to buy this, but if you find yourself a little case, you can start yourself your little repair kit, is what I like to call it. Alright, a couple of last things. Um, a mirror. If you do get a mirror, get yourself a metal mirror. Uh, glass ones can break. This is a metal one. You can cut it in half. Uh, the color will be distorted, but it's half the size. There's plastic on this one. There's like a plastic sheeting. You can see it here. I leave the plastic on and keep until you need it. Um, let's see here. Other tool ideas. This is a wrench that has a alligator jaws on one side. It opens up really big. It's made by Blacko, Beko, which is snap-on. Opens really wide, but has these teeth on one side. I don't know if my zoom is working right. Um, where you can fit it onto a copper tube or a pipe, and you can move a pipe like that. Really good idea. Really heavy, expensive, but if that's an idea for somebody if they like it. Pry bars, of course. My adventure bag has my pry bar that I keep, but this is an idea. Find yourself a USA made or German made, some kind of old steel. And that way you use a pry bar, Dasco, this is a Dasco, to pry something open, chop something up with, and not waste your knife. A pulley, this isn't my pulley that I was going to show. I can't find it, it's gone. This one's way too big. A pulley is a good idea. They make ones you can find on eBay that are called like uh, old ones that are 40, 50 years old. Uh, you want one that has a swivel head. That way when it's on a tree, it doesn't, because uh, a, a tree limb is not going to be facing the way that you want. Uh, it's not going to cooperate. This one's way too big. The rattles, those old ones you can find, you want an inch or an inch and a half size pulley. You can fit your cord in there. You can pick something up yourself, game, whatever like that. It eliminates half the weight. A pulley is a really good thing to have. But just definitely not one this big. Um, I've gone over this before. It's just an old belt. I don't know if you can see it, but you just make a little line with a pin. Then you use your thread. You fold it over on itself. Crap. Go like this. And go like this. And next thing you know, you can fit tools inside it. That's how I made this one. This is a pry bar. Uh, it comes from countycom.com. Good company. If you have money, you go to that uh, website, you're going to spend it. It's called a wiggly bar. And this is a 6 inch um, crescent wrench made by SK. Uh, I found that this is the best multi-tool you can have, uh, better than any of the pliers or any of those things because it actually fits on the nut to, and you can actually turn stuff that's uh, hard to turn like valve stems and such. Um, one thing I want to go over really quick, i only got five minutes left on this, a um, uh, little team mini deck of cards because you want to keep yourself from not getting bored and depressed. So aluminum tin, tin is made by Triangia, Triangia, uh, T-R-A-N-G-I-A, -A. really handy, opens up, get stuff in there, this is a fire uh, tinder kit, I'll go into that in another video, I also have a titanium spoon, but this is a good idea to have if 
you want to keep all your stuff into one kit, they make these. They're handles, they're light, you can cook them. Also, I have a little bit of cord in here. Uh, fire starter. Uh, another one of these that has Kevlar cord in it. Um, always keep Everclear. This is at 95% proof alcohol. It's a shot size. Uh, it's not for drinking. It's for cleaning tools, cleaning stuff to cut you open with, and if need to be, to start fire. Orange tape, duct tape, flagging tape, a thing. Alright. And then they make these uh, twist ties. One is reflective, one is orange. You pull them off, they're like bread ties, bread bag ties. But you tie them on a tree limb, you can see them in the dark with your flashlight. You can see them in the day because they're orange. You want to mark where you're at so you don't get lost. Really good idea. You can get these off of a company called uh, uh, Survival... Um, crap, I can't remember. Technologies, Survival Technology is something. A really cool website. They also make reflective orange pieces of duct tape that you just peel and stick handy to have. And then uh, that's it. I'll go over other, other things like my snares, my fire kit, um, bag glasses and stuff like that on a different video. I just wanted to give you a basic idea on some ideas for some for radios, cords, and tools. Uh, check out my other video on uh, my adventure bag. That has my best stuff on it my best tools, things like that. These are just things that go in my bug out bag. But the adventure bag actually has the best stuff that I have found. Uh, have a good one. Take care out there. And again, if you have any criticism, I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you have a better idea, I'd love to hear that too. And if you have any questions, I will answer what I can. Uh, right on.